So I've got only like five slides for you. Uh, really fast, and then after that we'll go through the demo to see the interactive replays. Basically, just just an introduction of what what this is about. So. Uh, Interactive rebase is uh, git rebase minus i. That's the that's the command. And um, how is it useful? Um, well, like I mean, I mean not only git, but I mean if you do uh, if you develop code and you do source control, whatever source control you use, you want to um, commit often. Uh, branch often, I guess probably git because like uh, branching in git is really really uh, really cheap and really fast. So. Um, you branch often and you commit even even more often than it. Um, so what you get is you will get a lot a lot of branches and you get a lot a lot of commits within those branches. And uh, it's a good practice because you know you then that that is a like that is a that is a safe state of your of your code. You know I'm I come from a um, gaming background, so so when I see it, I see it as a safe game. You know, as you play the game and then you you <laughs> reach that level, yeah, and you save you save your game to that file, and then if you die, you know, as I want to reload from that part, I can just go back and reload and and then continue. So um, so you would have a lot a lot of commits, and then um, you know, uh, it's very likely that your commits are going to get messy. And uh, you won't have really nice comment messages like what uh, Ryan tells us to do. You know, you will say, "Oh, whoops, hee hee." You know, it's a, it's a some something wrong. Just commit it first. Uh, but don't worry because you know you can always rebase it and uh, rewrite that comment message, rewrite that history, um, um, uh, pack it up nicely into one very nice commit like. Uh, how Ryan wants wants our commit messages to be, and then and then after that commit it or, or push it to to a branch somewhere. So basically, the whole idea, uh, I normally use it to just do this, just cleaning up the messy commits, and uh, it's really really useful. Um, rebase, uh, I don't know. I think a, a lot of people think that rebase is actually quite an intermediate or expert level kind of thing, but. Uh, I think not. You know, I, I think it's uh, even beginners. If you start with it, it's quite it's quite fundamental to uh, to how you use Git. Or uh, to me, I mean, like uh, I use it every day, almost every day. Rebase, rebase, rebase. Uh, mm, yeah, but it's rebase is quite controversial to some uh, because what you're doing is you're rewriting history. So if uh, you know I've pushed my code to somewhere and somebody has a history of that, um, that uh, you know, the, the history of that code, and then I rebase, I rewrite my history, and I push it over. It's going to mess up the other guy's history because he he will lose some of the other commits. Uh, not really lose some of the commits, but the, you will lose the the history of. But, oh, okay. Any, anyway, uh, that's another topic. Uh, I'll I'll go straight into the rebase. So uh, what we'll what we'll see is we'll see squash. Uh, uh, it's also good for code reviews. I mean, like you know, uh, you write a lot and then you package your commit, all many commits nicely into one nice commit, and then you send it out for a code review uh, to an off to an code review tool, and and then we'll see reordering commits. <coughs> okay, so the setup um, it's pretty. Uh, I'm not going to write code here. Uh, this is just English. If we look at this questions.txt, it's just basically this. And then um, probably we're just going to walk through on on like if I'm going to develop, if I'm going to do some work on here, how do I use Git to commit to to do rebase on 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 this guy when I do some work here. So um, so I'm in my initial <coughs> commit. And then I'm going to tackle question two, for example. And I'm going to say, uh, and question two is pretty. Uh, there, there are two parts, or there are three parts to it. So I'm going to just say one, two plus three, five, and I'm I'm going to commit early. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Did that? <laughs> You're right. Get <laughs> at um, okay. 
So it's modified, so I'm going to just commit. Implemented question two, part one. So we see we, we have implemented question two, part one, and then we... <coughs> So then, then I go do some work, right? But um, actually, what I forgot to do is, uh, you know, Git. When you want to do some work, you should you should branch before you do your work. I forgot to do that. So let me let me just do a branch. So I'm now here, and then I got my question two part one implemented, and I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna uh, implement part two. Minus five equals five, and I'm going to commit early. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. So then I'm going to I'm going to continue. Oh, it's not there yet. Okay, so then I have five minus five equals to, uh, let's say I do something like this. <coughs> and then um, I'm gonna commit because I didn't see the mistake. And then when I look at it, Oh, 5 minus 5 is not minus 1, so I'm going to go, go in and make a change. And it should be 0. <laughs> so I'm going to say, oops, typo. <laughs> this is what you guys do, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is what I do, and then, uh, and then now I'm gonna say, okay, you know, I've done my work for question two. I'm gonna like, uh, you know, I'm ready for code review, uh, or I'm ready to push it to master. And then I look at, I, I look at my history and say, no, this is not really presentable for code review, and uh, I want to go and edit my commits. So. Um, this is just a personal practice. When I uh, when I want to do any rebasing, I will just create another branch for rebasing, so that if I screw up on that branch, I can always come back to here where I, I have I still have my work and it's not. Mm. To rebase. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So okay, so so I'm in a I'm in a copy of another branch. So not really a copy, but uh, in another branch, so I can just do whatever. So now this this is this is the interactive rebase that we, um, this is my talk. So uh, I see that I have like um, four commits. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four before the first one, the initial one. So I'm going to say uh, git rebase four commits before, all four. Oh, okay, wait. So this is the help of a rebase. Uh, it, if you want to know about rebase, if you look at this help file, it explains uh, what it does pretty, pretty well. Uh, what we want to look at is the minus i, which is this one interactive rebase and what it says is that okay I'm gonna rebase all these all these commits but before doing it uh, I will create a list of all the commits that I want to edit before uh, before so that uh, it's interactive for the for the user to choose uh, what I want to do so we'll see that here so this says that uh, from the head from the start of the uh, from from the oops, uh, mi minus four back four four commits, and what it's going to <coughs> give me is it's going to give me four commits a list of all the commits, and 
my job is to change these, these commands in the front of every line. And what are the options that I can use? These are the commands, pick. So I'm going to use this commit, or if I want to reword, so uh, if I want to change the commit message of that commit, I can just uh, say uh, reword here, reward. <laughs> <laughs> Here, but um, so but that's not what I want to do now. So, um, so what I want to do is um, all these, all these um, four commits. I want to squash them all into one, into one nice presentable commit for my code review, or for for that really nice uh, co one commit message that's really nice that implements that that thing, uh, that small atomic uh, functionality. So I would say squash. Um, I would pick the first one and I would do squash. <coughs> so, um, and I, now this is the commit message that uh, I can edit. This is my final commit message that all four of them get squashed into one commit and then this is the message that, that, that will be uh, put into that commit. So I would say, okay, in, implemented uh, question two. So nice uh, message that uh, <coughs> describes exactly what the work is. And then now it's rebase. Let's look at log. So it's now, now only two, um, from four to two. And it says, implemented question two. And we can see that all the four <coughs> changes have been, uh, have been put into that one. So I just do a git show. And it shows the implementation and the, and the correct implementation. So then what I can do is I can bring it back into master. And then master should have that in there. So let's see. So we have this one. We'll see how it, how that works. So what what I will do? How do I integrate my that commit back into master? Right. So I will do a rebase. I'm a rebase kind of guy. Uh, <laughs> I I still don't do much. I do I do merge here. But uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to rebase master into my branch. So what happens is it will undo everything that. I've done. Uh, so it will undo the it will undo this commit so that I'm at this at this state and then bring whatever is in master into the branch and then I'm gonna redo this part back onto the top. There'll be some overlap, right? Yeah. I never planned for this actually. So there's a conflict. So let's see. So okay, so if you screw up your rebase, what can you do? Um, uh, you could uh, you could uh, resolve the conflict, git add and continue, or you say, oh, this is too much for me to do. I want to abort, so I can just say git rebase abort, and uh, the state will go back to whatever before I, I rebase. So I wouldn't lose any work. So no uh, no worries there. So let me try to um, resolve the conflict. Okay, pretty it works. <coughs> so now I've resolved the conflict, I will rebase continue. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so 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 there's this part and there's this part, right? So Let's rebase it and not get this part. Let's try. So if I don't want the top one, I just delete it. No. <laughs> so 
So let me resolve the conflict. Oops. Okay. So now we have uh, what we want. We have uh, the initial commit and just that nice implemented question to commit. And we can see, let's see what, what this is by doing git show. And yeah, uh, this, is, this is the result we want. And then, so we are at uh, the branch to rebase. And then now I want to merge it all the way back to master. Do you think it will work? <laughs> <coughs> Let's try. <laughs> so this is the this is the time when I do merge. Yes. Yeah. That's true. Uh, what do I do? Automatic merge. Fix conflicts. Do I have conflicts? Yeah. Okay, in this, I just have to manually do it. Yeah. Get, um. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. Graph, minus minus graph, is it? Nice. I'm not a merge kind of guy, so I don't know this. <laughs> Oops. Oops, yeah. That's not good. I don't like it. <laughs> so let's 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 rebase it again. Uh, do you guys? Yeah. That way you can actually know what commit you are doing and how the commit is looking like before you. Um, sorry, sorry. There's one line. Oh, this dash all. G R A P. Graph. 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so don't do this uh, after you push your commit. But it's still okay because it's local and then you know we can always fix it in local. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try, okay. <laughs> Get, um, reset. No. You can still do a rebase dash i, right? We're in master. Yep. Oh, more branch that means you can never change. Oh, uh, I have like a lot, a lot of branches in, in, uh, in, in normal work. I mean like it can be like 10, 20 branches. Uh, so uh, maybe that's just how I how how I work in yeah. So one two three and we squash everything. How about that? Yeah, looks <laughs> <That was> good. <laughs> Need a single revision in very upstream. Oh, where am I? Message is there. Fatal. It's a fatal message. Oh no, it's fatal message. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. You. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> you don't have anything. Do we have? 
Because you cannot squash um, until it's one. Uh, That's true. One, two, three. We can't squash the top ones. No, we cannot. It's a merge command. So oh, squash. crap. I don't like merge. <laughs> so luckily we have this guy and we have this guy so this is what we did um, <laughs> yeah. So the the best is not to change master. The branch master, merge it back, and then after that merge it back to the real master. Yeah. yeah. And your merge message is not merge branch this from this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 learning from you guys, man. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's do a rebase too, and then uh, we. So so this is what we have, and then I'm going to say I'm going to rebase initial, which is like our master, uh, what we should have master. and then squash it. One, two, three, four. Implemented question two. Very nice. And then uh, and then I merge back from rebase two back into initial. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Sorry? So I'm like not not just use like yeah. um, in your in your um, solution question two branch. Can you just like mm -hmm. do get rebased initial? Does that work? Yes, that that works. Yeah, but uh, the reason the reason I didn't want to do that was uh, I want to create a new branch so that I can do all my squash. Uh, I I do my rebase squash, and then um, and then. In case I screw up something there, I still have my branch tool. There, still, 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 it's still nice. Yeah. Which is also why when you do all the branch tools, yeah. you can see all the see all those branches. Can you show us the graph? Okay. Okay, please tell me the. Let's just graph. Let's just one line. Let's just decorate. You need all? Okay. Yep. You need all. <laughs> you need all. <laughs> These are all the branches. I was yeah. I was testing with my all, all the other branches. So, so actually, the re intended result is this one. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so this is my uh, demo for interactive rebase. <laughs> thanks, thanks for thanks for all your tips. I've I've learned some new things today. <laughs> yeah. I also recommend arrow. Up. A what? Up arrow. Up. Air warp. Up, up, up arrow. Up arrow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I have a question. Um. So like. I noticed like when I tried to do a rebase, I could do like a squash or a fix up. Yep. What's the difference? So, uh, uh, okay, let's see. A fix up, the only message will not appear when you 
Yeah, it's a. You will not see a conversation because other people use Google. So, I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm not sure what the subtlety is because, like, whenever. So, what I did was I take this, I can I commit a bunch of stuff into. Um, I push a bunch of stuff into Origin, which is where my GitHub is, right? And then I do a. I guess that's coming up later for a pull request, right? So, I ask for a pull request, I get a whole bunch of comments. I then start keeping on like committing new stuff into my origin branch, right? And then at some point, if I do a squash, like if I do a squash, all the all the comments kind of stay. If I do a fix up, it feels like all the comments kind of disappear, and I haven't been able to explain this. Explain why? I, I think that's the difference. As in, like if you do a squash uh, after doing a squash uh, after saying it's a squash. After the fact, you can uh, you can go in and edit your commit messages. I mean, they, they preserve the commit messages. Okay. Yeah, a fix up is similar to squash, except that I think it does the automatic. Uh, but like say in GitHub, when you like make a bunch of comments in the file itself, right? Like, I I think that um, when you do fix up, all those comments in the files disappear. Like, no, no, like when you um, if you are trying to fix. Um, happens to be related to some of the code in, that you're commenting on, so yeah, then GitHub will not be able to show it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. If you, if you, you change the file or if that line disappears, then you wouldn't be able to see that comment. You, you show something like uh, you have been you have commented on outdated with something like that. So that's, that's different. Uh, to answer the question, the difference between a squash and a fix up, uh, squash will squash two messages together into the first commit. Fix up will throw away all the command, uh, all the commit messages and only keep the very first message. So if you have three or four commits, which is the very first one will have the message saved. So the second subscroll usually is like buffix one, buffix two, buffix three, and messages number one. You keep those messages, and usually you don't want your team to see that you have like buffix commits, right? So. Uh, <coughs> So this is how you can hide the fact that you made a mistake and you know, nobody will know and you can safely make a commit and move on. I think both of you answered my question. Because you asked if you have a you answered it in the part. Okay, ah. I will need to try this then like let everyone know. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.